my crypto mining viewers, I've got something for you today. We can solar mine with no batteries. Uh, let me show you what I've got set up here. I just basically wired this whole thing up, so it hasn't been running very long. I've got a Bitmain Ant Miner power supply, 12 volt power supply, and I've connected some 10 gauge wire to it. This is a a diode, basically an ideal diode. I'll get to that. I'll get to its role in just a minute. I've got a little power meter here. So you can see that uh, we're pulling 90 to 108 watts. And then it's hooked up to my uh, GPU rig here. I've just got one GPU in there. Uh, this is called a Victron Battery Protect. Uh, basically, the only reason I've got this in here is if the voltage level gets too high, like something kind of dangerous where it might damage my equipment, uh, this thing will shut it off. So if this thing sees uh, 16 volts, it shuts off. Now hopefully 16 volts is not too, not going to damage anything, but that's just a level of protection I've added. And then I've got this solar charge controller that you've seen in my other videos. So right now I don't have uh, the solar plugged in. And as you can see, the power is being drawn solely from the AC power supply here. And I've just got the solar charge controller tied into the same spot as the AC power supply. So now, let's plug some solar in. And let's see, oh, there you go. We have stopped drawing power from the AC side and we are producing it on the solar side. See, we'll, we're doing the 100, the 80 to 100 watts here. And it's just pushing it, pushing it into the motherboard here. And so nothing, every once in a while you'll see a little blip, but that's fine. Uh, the mass majority of it is coming from the solar now. There you go, batteryless, no batteries. So really, if you want to get into doing solar, you pretty much just need the solar charge controller and some solar panels. And you can already wire it into your 12 volt system. Now I went ahead and put this diode in because I wanted to prevent any kind of backfeeding. So any power coming out of this, I, I want to make sure it doesn't feed back into here. Uh, I'm not sure that it will anyway, but I just put that in there as a precaution. So this is kind of like a one-way valve to keep anything from going back this direction. Uh, so how does it work? Well, basically, you set the voltage on this thing slightly higher than the voltage that this is putting out. So if this has got the higher voltage, the power will come from it and, the, and, and not from here. Uh, so here we go, we'll, we're back to eight, oops. So we're back to AC. So if you see here, we're at 12 point, you know, 10, maybe 12.13 volts every once in a while coming from this. So we just gotta set this a little bit higher. I found that, uh, see if I set the voltage to 12.4, volt on this unit that was the sweet spot where it started working properly if i set it too high it seemed like it was kind of fluctuating back and forth on on the ac so that was kind of the sweet spot and that's where i left it so let's do this one more time so we're drawing uh 80 to 100 and some odd watts from the ac let's plug in the solar again Like so, and then we'll see this drop, there it is, so we're not pulling power from your AC grid any longer, we're pulling power from the solar. Isn't that neat guys? How about that? Everybody should be able to do this.
So really you're just, you know, you're supplementing your AC power with solar. So if you've got solar outside, you're going to be running off solar at nighttime. It's, this is just going to, you're not going to have any solar and it's just going to fall back on your, your AC. Or if you've got some, you know, bad weather or whatever, and you don't have enough solar coming in, it should just fall back on uh, that. So again, I, I just hooked this all up. I don't know if there's any pitfalls or anything like that. I don't know if there's gonna be any kind of weird behaviors, but I'll continue to play with it and give you updates as I discover anything. All right, catch you guys on the next video.